gonna pick this some bitch up right where we left off the last time. For those who didn't read the title, or if you can't read, this is part two of our co-op Uncharted run on the Napoleon War Zone. So that means there's a part one that y'all gonna go need to watch. So if you haven't by now, go ahead, click that link that I left in the description. That'll take you back to part one, and you can see where we left off in this motherfucker. But anyway. We failed at the end of the last video. Yeah, I ain't afraid to show that shit. We fucking failed. We fucked that whole shit up. But luckily, this game gives you three chances to get your shit together. So we're gonna get this motherfucker on. Now, the main reason why I left that shit in there is because I can't edit that shit out. <laughs> I'll be fucking honest with you. We can't edit that shit, man. I tried so many fucking times to say, you know what? How am I gonna fool these people into making it look like we didn't fail this motherfucker? We failed. I couldn't get rid of that shit. If I could, I would've got rid of it. But you're gonna notice, I'm gonna be posting up a lot of the, the call-up runs that we have. You can't fucking hide that shit. I tried so many goddamn times to make it look like we didn't fucking fail, but you know what? Fuck it, man. We're just gonna have to go with it, so... You know that shit pisses me off, man? Because when the computer beats you, you feel like a dick. It's one thing if you're playing multiplayer, you know, a better player kicks your ass, that's fine. You know, I'll accept my ass whooping from a better player and move on. You know, if you're a better man, cool, you beat me. But when the computer beats you, oh man, that shit pisses me off. That pisses me off like you can't fucking imagine, man. Especially when you're playing on fucking, with your friends and shit like that. You're like, man, how, how am I gonna show this on YouTube? Show the fucking, the computer beat me on this shit, man. Watch this little bit of sniping. See that right there? Boom, nut shot. Shoot this motherfucker in his ass. Now, I know I hit this son of a bitch. Come on, man. You gonna tell me I didn't hit that motherfucker? Bullshit. Now, that one, okay, that one missed. But anyway, like I said, we're gonna be rolling with Loco Chaz and Junkie Junkie. We'll be returning this motherfucker. Look at Junkie. You trying to nail this son of a bitch. So, I'm looking for some goddamn sniper ammo because I want to be all elite and shit. You know, I want to make it look like I'm a fucking master sniper this motherfucker. I can't snipe. We all know that. I made no secret about it. Now, right here, I'm gonna get my Moses medal. Let my people go, motherfucker. That's right. Look at that shit, man. Let them go. You get $500. For saving somebody's ass from that goddamn ninja. So I call that shit the Moses Metal, man. Because you people gotta let my people go. Now you see, this right here, like I said, man. We can be turning on God Mode for a second. Because I gotta try and get by this motherfucker. I hate losing these fucking missions. I hate it. I goddamn hate it. But like I said, with Loco Chaz and Junkie, they're just getting used to this game. So there's no way in hell I'm gonna just let them sit there and try and learn this shit on their own. I'm gonna have to roll up in this motherfucker and try and win this shit. So I'm gonna get my another Moses Metal. Let that motherfucker go. And as you guys can see, you get money for this shit. Now, unlike other games, you know, you get XP and all that other bullshit. In Uncharted 2, the main thing you need is money. That's how you fucking grow your character. That's how you level up. So, we got these motherfuckers down here, and they got their fucking skull yarmulkes on. <laughs> I know I'm going to hell now. <laughs> so, damn, man, the past two fucking videos, I've had religious jokes up the ass. So, you know what, fucking man, I gotta stop doing this shit. Otherwise, I'm gonna get, like, a ban on YouTube in this motherfucker. So Junkie got his ass kicked, and you'll see here, I think this is going to be the only time that I actually fast forward in this game, because this is the second to last arena that you're going to be fighting in. Basically, the way it runs is you just go from section to section to section, and you just got to be taking on enemies and shit like that. So this that we're coming up to right now is the final area of the game. So the final area is a fucking pain in the ass, because there's just a shitload of enemies that's just going to have to outlast and all that other shit. You know, basically, all the enemies you saw in part one, if everyone watched part one, they're all going to be out in this fucking courtyard here, with the exception of ninjas and shit like that. So basically, we got to do some major ass whooping up in this motherfucker. Now, the things people probably gonna notice i'm sure if you haven't noticed it by now we're playing on normal and that's not just because local chaz and junkie are learning this motherfucker but even if i was playing with an experienced crew people that have been playing this shit for a long ass time i play campaigns and co-op modes on normal and the main reason for that is very simple developers are fucking lazy when they create the most difficult levels in the game oh yeah i said it i've said that shit with a fucking passion you name the developer and chances are they took the easy way out when it comes to making a game in the most difficult level possible and you know what they do you know all they do to make a game difficult they nerf the shit that's it that's all they fucking do they nerf your health they nerf your bullet damage basically they make it a whole lot easier for you to get killed and makes it a bitch for you to kill the goddamn computer that's how they fucking make these elite crushing hard super soldier veteran levels it's bullshit man it's totally fucking bullshit how they make these goddamn levels Man, we snuck up on these fat motherfuckers like a Dutch oven, man. <laughs> you see that shit? Imagine that, you like all of a sudden patrolling and shit, and you get a fucking bullet to your head. I swear, that's what you have to do to attack these bastards on this last part, man. But anyway, get back to what I was saying. You know, sometimes developers actually make the enemy AI have, like, better accuracy, or, or they'll see you in an area sooner than normal. But you know what? That's a minimal change. I mean, unless you're playing, like, combat training on fucking Black Ops on Elite. I mean, where they have, like, fucking aimbots and shit like that. They just turn around, and all of a sudden there's a bullet in your ass. Man, that shit pisses me off on that motherfucker. But there are only a few games, and one I'm going to talk about in a minute, that actually make the computer intelligence more intelligent. And what I mean by that is when you play a game on normal settings, you see how enemies attack and shit like that, right? Some use cover well, some flank you, some bull rush you, which is fine. You want to have a variety of ways the enemy's going to actually come up on you and shit like that. But when you up the difficulty, they do the same shit! 
they do the exact same fucking thing on the hardest level that they do on the medium levels. I mean, rarely does the developer make the AI come up with new tactics to get your ass. The same tactics and intelligence they have on the normal difficulty is the same intelligence level they have on the hardest, man. And Uncharted 2 is just as guilty of that shit, man. Now, don't get me wrong. This game actually has some pretty decent intelligence. Every game has a different level of intelligence. You know, Uncharted has some quality shit. Because you see enemies, look at Junkie, man. Why, why the fuck you gonna take that big-ass cannon, motherfucker? You gotta drop it anyway. I'm telling this asshole over the goddamn microphone. I'm like, drop it, man. You ain't gonna be able to use that motherfucker. But anyway, Uncharted actually has some pretty good intelligence. Because you see the way the enemies come after you? They'll stick behind cover. They'll pop shots from different angles. You know, they don't just pop up in the same spot over and over. They got the different, they have the snipers, shotgun guys. They got all kinds of shit. They throw some pretty accurate grenades and this shit like that. So they have a variety of ways where they're gonna get your ass. You know, compared to a game like fucking Black Ops or Call of Duty 4, basically, it feels like you're playing whack-a-mole in a fucking carnival and shit like that. They hide behind cover and they pop out of the same spot over and over and over again. All you need to do is leave your gun right on that same spot and eventually the motherfucker's gonna pop out of there and shit like that, man. It's fucking terrible. Some of those games are just absolutely terrible when it comes to the AI, man. So, now the one game that I personally played where I feel like the AI became increasingly smarter was Killzone 2. Now, anybody that plays that campaign on Elite or whatever the fuck they call that, you know, they always got some stupid shit like Super Soldier, Elite, or, or uh, Totally Fucking Badass, whatever they want to call that goddamn shit, man. That shit got a lot fucking harder. See, see the enemies right here? They're trying to flank me. That's some smart shit right there. But man, the enemies got increasingly fucking harder. I mean, things like flanking you, throwing grenades, and bull rushing you all at the same fucking time. Or they'd split up. You know, there'd be enemies on the right, enemies on the left. If you shoot at somebody on the right, the enemies on the left would start fucking surrounding you with shit like that. Or they start firing at you. Now, Killzone 2 wasn't perfect. Don't get me wrong. That storyline was stupid as shit. But the AI on Elite or Super Soldier, whatever you want to call that shit, was on point. You had a tough fucking time trying to beat that goddamn game. When you beat it, you felt like you accomplished it, man. And you know, this isn't just limited to shooters and shit like that. You know, you can look at any fucking game out there, and they do the same exact shit. Mass Effect, God of War, um, Sandbox games. As soon as you increase the difficulty, it doesn't get harder. It just gets more tedious. That's all. Like Mass Effect, they gave everybody a shield or protection on, on the, the hardest level. It's like, come on, man. I'm still kicking their ass. They're still doing the same shit in this fucking game. Why the fuck do you have to give them a goddamn shield? It was bullshit, man. Totally fucking bullshit. So if the AI isn't getting smarter, why should I bother? I mean, seriously, why should I play a more tedious process of uh, hiding behind cover and constantly repeating this process to regenerate my health? Man, fuck that, man. Because of what? Uh, a developer was too lazy to, to make improved enemy tactics? Come on, man. I'm not going to spend 20 fucking minutes playing a goddamn game just because my bullets are fucking nerfed when I can spend uh, 10 minutes playing the same shit. It's bullshit. Now watch this motherfucker, man. Look at this flag jacket. Look at that bullshit. Now I know I complain all the time in Black Ops about flag jacket. Look at this motherfucker. Two goddamn RPG shots and he's standing there chilling. Chilling. I mean, what's he gonna do, man? He gonna go, like, make a fucking ham and cheese sandwich in a second, man. Come on. Bust this fucking... Come on, man. Die. Jesus Christ. Shit. But anyway, that's why you're never gonna see me play any kind of, like, elite super soldiers, stupid shit like that, man. I mean, I may play it every now and then for a challenge, but if I just want to play a game, I'm playing this shit on normal, this motherfucker. Fuck this bullshit. So anyway, that was my rant on this shit, and obviously we just finished this motherfucker, so now we gotta collect our treasure. And here's my celebration. I'm like, I see Junkie over here, and I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Launch it, his ass. <laughs> this was the start of the team killing. So, of course, I get my revive points for doing that shit. But this is what's going to start Junkie's whole destructive pattern of wanting to team kill people. See, look, he wants revenge. He's going after that shit. So, anyway, we finished this motherfucking mission. And for our efforts, you know what we get? We get a big fucking trophy. There, you see me celebrating and shit like that. I'm like, yeah, bitch, that's right, motherfucker. But anyway, in this fucking little treasure box right here is going to be this big, fat, golden head. So, as always, guys, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good shit. Go check out Junkie Junker's channel. Go check out Local Chaz's channel. They obviously got some good shit on their channels. I'm going to be posting up a whole bunch of Uncharted shit this week, so you guys will feel free to watch that. And, as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.